One year has passed since the murder of a good Samaritan in Aurora. He was shot to death while trying to stop a man from attacking a woman. Kelly Acosta was 29 when he was gunned down at his apartment complex. Good evening, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. Melissa Garcia is live at the Emerald Isle on Parker Road near Quincy. That's where Acosta worked. Melissa, friends don't want him forgotten. Kathy, people here tonight say they were not just his friends and co-workers, they were his family. A growing reward, $40,000, and adding to that more at the fundraiser they held here today is for anyone with information leading to the arrest of Acosta's killer. It's really hard without him. For Brittany Allen, the pain is still real, one year after the murder of her best friend. Where 29-year-old Kelly Acosta once worked alongside her, serving customers at the Emerald Isle, now only pictures hang. Pictures and memories of the loving and equally loved man who was killed trying to help a neighbor. He was kind of like the father figure around here. He kind of like rallied us all in and kept us on our A-game all the time. On the one-year anniversary of his death, friends packed the place, raising funds for justice. He loved everyone. Like, I never knew one person that he had ill will with. Allen says Acosta ran outside his Aurora apartment in the early morning hours of February 18th, 2017, after hearing screams in the parking lot. His efforts to save a woman being beaten were met with two gunshots that ended his life. He stepped in and did the right thing at the right time, and that was Kelly's nature. Friend Tim Robles says the event is more about celebrating his life than grieving his loss. We were lucky enough to know him. Um, we were lucky enough to be friends with him, to be family with him. Reaching out with a plea to mend their broken heart. We're done crying because we miss him. Now we're, we're more angry and crying because justice hasn't been served yet. For us to not have any answers right now, it's extremely frustrating. Aurora police are telling us tonight they still have not been able to identify a suspect in this case and are asking for the public's help uh, with any information that, that they could reach out to them with. There is, again, that reward that we mentioned earlier, and people can reach out to the Aurora Police Department by calling a detective directly or through Crime Stoppers. That tip can be completely anonymous. We're live in Aurora. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Thank you, Melissa.